Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm slowly getting better, and uh, if you want me to get better quicker, click the thumbs up button, make sure you comment, and also subscribe if you don't, and click the join out button for exclusive content. I'll get quick, I'll get better real quick, trust me. Uh, real quick, yeah, yeah, oh! So, in this episode, we are going to be talking about Beast Mode. We what we've been up to in Beast Mode, how its performance is going, and Ellie's going to give you a rundown of beast mode and it's performance and all the rest of it so stay tuned for that we're going to show you some new toys and someone's always got to interrupt me on my intro um, so yeah anyway let's show you some of the new toys that are in the hq and also we're filming a new series which will be coming out next year in q1 of 2019 and um, so here's a sneak peek of what we've been up to in taking on one of the biggest challenges ever so yeah enjoy the series guys On the first week, we're going to go from 24 down to probably about 16, so we're going to lose 8. So, those are the people that are 10 minutes late to turn out to training aren't listening or on their phones, you know, any kind of nonsense like that. Yeah, so that's good. I was just obviously never really been nervous for an interview until this one, so okay. <laughs> a bit of a different feeling. <laughs> so okay. yeah, so it was a bit went a lot better and a lot I was a lot smoother than I thought I'd be as it were. <laughs> was it what you expected? Uh, yeah exactly what I expected. I said to hold it like this, how am I going to hold that like this? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you've got to do as well, but you can watch the chart and everything. Saw Conor McGregor doing it, thought why not? KSI, come at me bro. That is solid. Hi guys, so today I'm going to be quickly going over uh, how we optimise and develop our algorithms. So recently I've been working on our latest fully automated algorithm called Beast Mode, which some of you may have heard of already. Uh, we're hoping to release this early next year. Um, so what I've been doing mainly today is developing and optimizing the algo. So how we do this, uh, we're looking to run it on multiple currency pairs and different asset classes. So we're having to optimize the settings for each different currency pair. Um, and the way we do this, we have different samples. Uh, so we have a main development sample which we do majority of our testing on um, and obviously this is all back testing so we're using historic data uh, which we source so and make sure it's good model quality um, to ensure that you know the results are accurate uh, the last thing we want well yeah the last thing we want is you know to test and develop an algo and then realize the data we've used is rubbish it's not accurate um, and then when we run it live it just doesn't represent what we've seen in the back testing at all so that's how we uh, mainly develop our algorithms. Once we've done the main development and optimization on the development sample, we then have a couple of other samples. One is called an out of time sample. Um, so this sample is used on a different time data from the main development sample to ensure that the algorithm still runs as expected, um, you know, in a different historic period of time. Because um, obviously, you know, as dynamic markets are, um, how an algorithm may perform can change across different time periods. Uh, so we just we do this just to make sure that the algorithm is still working outside of different uh, time periods. We don't want to over model uh, the algorithm to our development sample. So we have an out of time sample, a development sample and we also have a validation sample which could be a subset 
of the main development sample to ensure that again the algorithm works on different subsets and at different time periods throughout uh, the historic data that we're using. So we're very excited uh, with regards to beast mode. It's very different to say fusion, uh, the way it works. So the, the way we've developed beast mode so far is it's going to be a scaling in robot uh, and the way it's scaling in it's going to add to winning positions. So it's going to have hard stop losses um, and when the positions are going well, um, it's quite a really good trade. It's going to basically maximise its profit that it can take from that trade by adding new trades um, and then treating them all as one big trade and closing them all out together. Similar to what Fusion does when it hedges, uh, but this is going to be adding to winning positions already to maximise and take as much as we can profit-wise from the markets. Like I said, hopefully it'll be released early next year, so watch this space. We're very excited. Uh, obviously Samuel and I have been working long hours to continue to develop and optimise this algorithm. Still got quite a bit of work to do, uh, but yeah, we're very excited and can't wait to release this to the market. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed seeing this little bit of a snippet into what we're doing in the new year and taking on one of the biggest challenges that I think any traders have so far. So it's going to be a big one anyway, nonetheless. And I hope you've enjoyed the beast mode optimization stages and just kind of getting a feeler of what we do in the automated kind of side of trading um, and the steps that are taken in order to perfect and build a track record verified algorithm. So exciting times, beast mode is just around the corner and so is the optimization. So we've got loads to do guys. I just literally love the fact that you guys are all commenting, get involved with the channel. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, subscribe and if you want to see some more exclusive content on why we're buying certain stocks, why we're buying certain currencies and the reasons behind that, then click the join now button and get your exclusive content. I'll see you in the next episode guys.